this video is to show you how it's possible to make a functioning spectrophoto uh, spectrophotometer uh, from a shoebox, uh, some Lego, a torch and a DVD and a smartphone that's got a light sensor on it. Uh, so these are all components that are important parts of a spectrophotometer. Uh, and if you don't know what a spectrophotometer is, uh, you can read about it elsewhere. Um, but it's an important piece of lab equipment uh, that can be used to determine the concentration uh, of molecules in a solution. Uh, so the components that are important for a spectrophotometer are light source. And in the shoebox spectrophotometer, I've got this LED torch. It's a really cheap one, but it's quite bright. Um, you need a method of diffracting light, of splitting it into different wavelengths. And I've got here a quarter of a DVD. Uh, I've stuck my quarter of a DVD onto this uh, cogwheel, which is joined to another cogwheel, which points outside. And that allows me to rotate the disc and move the spectrum and aim the area of the spectrum I'm interested in uh, to this sample holder here. Uh, not shown on this picture, but you'll see it on the video uh, I'll show you in a second, is a slit which further allows um, the selection of a wavelength or most likely a narrow range of wavelengths to send through my sample. Uh, and the sample, the solution, is in this cuvette here, a clear, this one's plastic, get them made out of other things. Importantly, for the spectrophotometer to be of value, you need a, a method of measuring light and calculating absorbance of your sample compared to a calibrator. And that's done by this smartphone here, where the light sensors are lined up as well as I can get it uh, to the beam of light that's going through the sample. And this is the most fiddly bit, to be honest, getting this in the right position. Uh, but once it's set, uh, you're OK. Obviously, if, if you make your own, the dimensions of it, the angles and everything is going to be different because you're going to be working with a different torch, uh, different diffraction that you'll achieve from your DVD and so on. So there's a bit of fiddling around needed, um, but uh, it works pretty well. Uh, so if I show you um, the next video, I'll better clear these arrows off, uh, you'll see, see it in action. So if I just press play uh, and show you the video. So turn the torch on, light hits the DVD. I can use my cogs to move the spectrum around and aim it towards that slit that's in the front of the sample holder. Um, the phone's lined up below, uh, behind, sorry, with the light sensors in the right place. Uh, and this I'll show you in more detail on the next video. Uh, you press measure absorb on this app uh, and it calculates the absorbance. Uh, this app is for free on the Google Play Store. It's an Android thing uh, and it, it's quite simple to make and be a good part of another project to make your own app. I used MIT um, App Inventor. Uh, it's a block based system, uh, so it's dead simple to use because I'm not really a coder. Uh, so this is it being used as a spectrophotometer. So the lid will go on when I take the measurements. Uh, if I press play, I can talk you through what's happening. So I've got my water, which is my blank, because it's the solvent I've used for my sample. Put the lid on, uh, and I press calibrate, uh, and that value is stored by the app, the calibration value. And next, I'm going to put the sample in. So take the blank out, put the sample in, uh, close the lid, and then I'm going to press measure. Uh, and it might be a bit hard to see. Uh, but you can probably just make out that the absorbance value is 0.446, I think, uh, for that sample. If you've got other samples, in the same way you'd use a, a lab spectrophotometer, you can put another sample in and press measure absorbance, and it will give you the absorbance value based on the sample compared to the calibration uh, that it's got stored from your blank. Uh, this is a screenshot of um, the, the app. Um, it's got calibrate button well actually first off it's got this value here this is a real-time light measurement uh, so it's constantly changing if you move the phone around uh, but it's quite useful to have this real-time measurement because it's useful in getting your phone in the right position when you're making your shoebox spectrophotometer this calibrate button uh, you press as you saw in the previous video when you put your blank in and it will store the light measurement at that point and it also displays it here. Uh, 
then you've got the measure absorbance button so once you put your sample in uh, you can press measure absorbance and it will do the calculation based on that measurement and the calibration measurement to display this absorbance value so this is obviously quite crude uh, but it seems to work quite well i've tested it with three different molecules that absorb light maximally at 430 nanometers 510 and 630 nanometers uh, and i've got r squared values which are some about as good as a lab spectrophotometer um, so they're all over 95 percent 0.95 as an r squared value from my calibration graphs i've made there's going to be limitations to this when i tried it at a um, attempted to do to measure well, make a calibration graph of copper sulfate which absorbs maximally 808 uh, and i couldn't get it to work but at these other shorter wavelengths it seems to work quite well how well it will work will depend on your light source and also the hardware in your phone the light sensor that you've got but it's worth playing around with i thought it might be a good resource for uh, science fair projects or for undergraduate work to take it further in terms of uh, different light sources different means of diffraction and different slit uh, widths in the sample holder there's a lot of scope here to play around with it uh, and improve it and make it good for a specific uh, reason that you might want to use a spectrophotometer so that's it thank you for listening i hope people play with it and i hope people have fun with it um, it does work or i try to make it work in a way that emulates most undergraduates experience of a, a spectrophotometer by just giving a simple absorbance value uh, good luck uh, and if you play and you have success you can put your own videos up and i'll look forward to watching them if there are any thank you